Throughout our course, we focused on creating realistic art, but you may be interested in exploring other genres like anime, comic books, or dark fantasy. To achieve this, you have two options, either modify your model or adjust your artistic style. But what exactly do we mean by style? Let's dive into an example to help illustrate this concept. To get us started, I've already created two images based on the keyword woman. As we're focusing on style in this tutorial, I've kept the prompts simple. You'll notice that the resulting images have a realistic look, similar to our previous artwork. If you'd like to create an anime-inspired image instead, let's explore how to do that. Begin by clicking on the Advanced tab and selecting the Style option. You'll see that three checkboxes are already selected, with many more options available below. Currently, the default image styles are selected, which are responsible for producing realistic images. The three default styles work together to refine your image. Focus V2 brings a sense of realism followed by Focus Enhance, amplifies the details, and Focus Sharp, adds the finishing touches. As you scroll down, you'll find many more styles to choose from. If you hover your cursor over each option, you'll see a sample image generated with that specific style, giving you a better idea of what to expect. To generate an anime style image, simply deselect the current options and choose one of the anime artwork styles. Click Generate and wait for a few moments. You'll see the result. We've successfully transformed realistic images into anime style girls. The outcome is truly impressive. You might recall that three checkboxes are selected by default. This is because all the images we've generated so far blend these three styles together. Right now, I have used only one style to generate the anime image. Let's try adding 3D model to our anime and see the results. And just like that, the result is stunning. To transform my image into a Renaissance style masterpiece, I simply select the Renaissance art checkbox and click Generate. The key takeaway is to choose your styles thoughtfully and don't be afraid to mix and match them to achieve a unique and captivating output. Let's say you need an avatar for your game character. If you choose pixel art, you'll get a Minecraft-inspired design. To get a more polished avatar, you can opt for an anime or comic book style instead. But how do you know which style is best suited for your needs? A simple search can help you figure that out. For instance, if you're looking for styles inspired by games, a quick search will give some amazing results. Similarly, searching for movie-inspired styles or photography styles will give you relevant options. The same principle applies to other targets as well. If you're creating an advertisement, you'll want to explore styles that are commonly used in ads. And if you're working on a comic, you'll want to search for styles that are popular in the comic book genre. The idea is to search for the specific style that aligns with your project's goals, and you'll likely find some great options to choose from. You might be wondering, how does this even work? Well, it's actually quite straightforward. Focus uses a technique called prompt expansion, which takes the prompt you enter and adds some additional keywords to it. But where these extra keywords came from, to enhance the results, let's dive in and find out. To get a better understanding of how this works, navigate to your Focus installation directory and open the main Focus folder. Inside, you'll find the SDXL styles folder. Within that, locate the samples folder. Looks familiar? You should see the same cat images we explored earlier. These are the preview images we've been examining. If you go back a level, you'll notice JSON files associated with each image. For non-coders, simply scroll down and find a notepad application to open the file.
you'll then see some of the familiar styles we've explored earlier. For example, here's the JSON prompt for the Cinematic Diva. When you enter a prompt, by selecting Style Cinematic Diva, Focus combines your input with the rest of the keywords in the JSON file. For instance, if your prompt is woman, Focus would replace this word with your typed woman and then use the entire prompt for image generation. This process is applied to all styles. Would you like to add some of your own styles? I will be making a video on this soon. Feel free to experiment. Select a style that aligns with your desired end product. In the next lesson, we'll dive into image prompts. Take care.